Welcome to the project demonstration of Rockerbogie mechanism based vacuum cleaner robots. So in this project we are uh, using Rockerbogie mechanism, suspension mechanism and uh, we developed a robot for uh, vacuum cleaning with two vacuum cleaners which are operated at DC 5 volts and that power supply is getting from this battery and the total robot controlled with the help of Unobot and L293 motor driver for robot body movements and relay motor relay driver for on and off this vacuum cleaners and a 12 volt 1 amp battery power supply for the Arduino, Arduino Uno along with 6 motors so 3 motors left side and 3 motors right side and these 3 are connected in parallel so that one motor direction will be parallelly connected to the other remaining 2 motors and here we have interface one more ultrasonic sensor for abstract detection so this robot consists of 2 features one is automatic mode another is a manual mode so in the manual mode we can control the robot movements from mobile phone through Wi-Fi using with the help of ESP8266 module which is interfaced at the pin number 8 and 9 and 13th pin is connected to this relay and the pin number 4567 connected to the L293D motor driver and uh, yeah right and 2 and 3 for ultrasonic sensor for obstacle detection whenever the obstacle is present in front of this at a distance of 1 feet then automatically it will take the right direction for around of 5 to 6 seconds and then it will check for the again for obstacles so it still continues detects so it keep on reading and once obstacle avoids then it start moving forward direction in automatic mode in manual mode we are going to provide the con uh, commands forward backward left right commands from the mobile phone through a uh, juice ssh application so before switching on this kit we need to install two applications one is a juice ssh from play store and there is network analyzer the purpose of this network analyzer application is to get the IP address of our project kit and uh, here let me explain the component wise this is the ESP8266 board Arduino Uno ultrasonic sensor single relay which is operated at 5 volts and L293D motor driver to control the 6 motors which are 2 to the 3 3 motors are connected in parallel and this is the TP4046 is a charger for this lipo battery, lithium ion batteries so by connecting the B type charger to this we can charge this battery so there is a light indication once the battery is fully charged so coming to the recharge for this 12 volt 1 amp battery we are going to make use of this charger so we need to connect this to the 230 this transformer we need to connect to the 230 volts socket and then connect the battery at the b end right once we switch on the power supply to the transformer there is a light indication on the charger as you can see that right so now the battery is charging now so it will take maximum of 8 to 10 hours to be fully charged after that time you can just disconnect the battery from the charger and you can switch off the charger right so now uh, once the total both batteries are fully charged then you can switch on the gauge so before switching on the gauge we need to do one more initial setup that we need to enable the hotspot in your phone with the help of the hotspot only we can communicate to the our project so set up the Wi-Fi hotspot name to project 5143 without any space without any capital letters and a password 129 check twice before switching on the kit and before switching on the hotspot so right now you can switch on the hotspot so after that next step is switch on the kit so there we can see one device is connected in our phone directly you can see that one device is connected there is a second confirmation and after that go to network analyzer application go to options do LAN scan do the scan so there we get the IP address express that is 192.168.113.201 so note on that IP address and go to juice application so here initially if you already previously connected there you can see the IP address otherwise initially manage connections add in these three settings we need to do one is type telnet and uh, the address is 192.168.113.201 so dot 201 and the next third change is port number 8080 telnet type address and port number so then click on ok now click on this so there we get that 
the system has to connect to that okay right now we can see that this is the we'll get uh, the three uh, lines so on successfully pair so now when we enter F enter so it start moving forward B backward L left R right all are small letters and S for stop and when you enter A small A that's automatic mode so system keep on moving so if any obstacle detects then it's taking the right direction on I preference and after around 5 to 6 seconds then it will go move forward again so if the obstacle is again right so for small a automatic mode and small m for manual mode so when it's start moving forward then enter m when you enter m it stop uh, stops automatically and again b s so now let us see the vacuum setup for vacuum it's one enter forward zero for off 